Well, when I was 26 years old, I gave birth to a tiny little baby girl. On the first day of Sarah's life, in our first one-on-one -on -one mother-daughter time, I had tons of questions. Among all those questions, I remember I look at her and I ask her, I wonder when you grow up, who you gonna be? Where are you gonna be? What are you gonna do? And the most important things, are you gonna get married? Who's gonna be your husband? And then at the age of 26, where are you gonna be at your life? So that I just saw the changes in her and I could just see the way she talked about him and the sparkle in her eye and you know there are very few people that can get Sarah outside of her comfort zone and this has been said many times but it's true I myself thought I would see pigs fly before I thought that she would ever go camping and it happened so they bring out the best in each other. So show me family, all the blood that I will bleed. I don't know where I belong. I don't know where I went. I have to tell you that I love you every day. I vow to tell you how beautiful you are every day. I vow to really mean these things that I say so they're not just words, but instead expressions of my love for you. I belong with you. You belong with me. I vow to help you love life, to always hold you with tenderness, and, the, and to have the patience that love demands. To speak when words are needed, to share in the silence when they are not. I vow to respect you, to be kind, honest, and supportive. I vow to love you in all your forms, now and forever. I vow to never forget that this is a once-in-a-lifetime love. I love you no matter what challenge carries us apart, we will always find our way back to each other. She be standing Just next to me. It was at that moment I knew that they had a special connection, and this was going to be the beginning of a long-lasting relationship. It's been a pleasure to watch Justin and Sarah's relationship grow, and I have never seen him so happy as he is with you, Sarah. But I'm at work, you know, I have, a, you know, just one hour of time and I have a meetings. And then he said, well, I'm not going to take that much time. We met and then as soon as he told me that he wanted to propose, of course, I start crying. And then I go to advise and I just, you know, try to tell him what is right, what is wrong. And find out if they're right for each other. And then I, I realize, oh, I'm late for my, you know, meeting. And I'm just like, I'm, I have to leave. And he said, wait a minute, I don't know if I have blessing or not. Am I, you know, am I a prim And I'm just like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, Justin, you know, you're officially my son-in-law. I love you. I'll be standing on canal and Bowery. Sarah's been there with Justin through thick and thin. She's been there, you know, never judging him, always being a part of his life, taking care of him. And she's also been... A fantastic mother to Jack, and for that she's earned my respect. I've been in Justin's backpacking camping trips a couple times, and not the least of once he did save my life. Okay, so he's all there. He didn't let us fall off the mountain. And I know that you won't fall off the mountain of love. So you guys totally love each other. Beautiful. both people that you know that you can always count on them no matter what's going on and I think that that's a really great attribute to have as a couple um, because it's not just one of them it's both of them hey!